it's a 921. I just got my camera back, so I just thought it was necessary to make a vlog. Um, actually, I've been up for a minute, but um, I'm at Club Fitness. I'm finna get a little quick workout in, really just to get my mind right, to get my mind back in it. Um, I've been doing squats again, bro. You know what I feel like the first time you come back uh, taking a long break from squats. I know uh, I say my beard, bro. But it's Kiki's birthday. It's a special day, man. January 7th. It's Kiki's birthday. If y'all don't know Kiki, my little cousin, but they really like my little sisters, though. But, um, yeah, it's Kiki's birthday. So, happy birthday, Kiki. God bless. I'm proud of you. I'm going to text you, so I ain't going to say too much on here. To, um, so, let's go get this work on it. I'm going to take y'all with me throughout this whole day. That was all the gym had for me today, y'all. Um, I'm finna go back to the crib, stretch, read a little more, and take a shower, and then we're going right to the shop. So we're going, you know, let's get to it. So I just pulled up to the shop. Mm -hmm. Best shop in the loo. So I'm finna go in and get ready, get set up, mess with Joel for a minute, and then I gotta cut this little kid hair first. So, you know, I'm really waiting on my clothes. I got big news. I always been clothing, got big news. I promise you. What's good, YouTube? I'm um, Mr. Boy Lay Face. Welcome to the Lake Show. And today I'm gonna be dropping this tutorial. It's gonna be a transformation cut. He went from this to Waverly. So, stay wise. All right, y'all. So, to start of this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all what the hair look like. And now I'm gonna be cutting it down. I think when I cut his hair down, the first time I think I cut it down with the number three or four. No brainer in I cut it down to number three or four, and then a two. And then I think I finished with the one and a half, but we'll see when I get into it. If y'all hear this air, um, I'm sorry. I'm in St. Louis and it's super cold. And I'm talking about my brother cold, so I had to turn the air on a little high. So that's what that noise is if you hear it. Or you hear my MacBook. If you got a MacBook, you know what that sound, sound like when the MacBook think it's getting hot. But this MacBook got to put in work today because I had to, I just edited this tutorial and now I'm doing a voiceover on this one. So we're going to be doing a low taper. So I'm going to be setting this ball line in with the Babyless Flash FX. And I'm just set it in the back where I think it would look the best at. I, I, I don't really got no specific area. I'll just look at the person's head and see what it's shaped like. So I'm gonna set it in and then I'm gonna clear the panel out. Make sure that you get every hair. And I like to use a soft trimmer first and then come back with my real hitters because I use my soft trimmer so it don't sit in a harsh line. And I come back with my hitters just to really clear it up. So I'm just combing everything, making sure everything. He had long hair, obviously, so I'm just combing everything in a, in a pattern that I think he, he's going to end up brushing into. So I'm just combing, laying everything flat, and I'm going to continue going over it, laying, making sure the hair is laid down. That's definitely number two guard. So I'm gonna leave it at a number two. I feel like that was a good link. So this is number two open, and I'm just blending into that. And he don't really have have waves yet, so it's like I can cut a little more into it than I would if he did have waves, because I wouldn't want to cut a wave out. But he doesn't have a wave there, so it's like I can even this out a little more. That's what I was saying. I come in with my my real hitter 
trimmer and then I hit it with this box saver. So now I'm gonna go up like three quarters of an inch and I'm gonna set this guideline in and I'm gonna, I'm gonna round it a little bit at the top of it to kind of give it a little more uh, of an arch look. And I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this in, open, flicking out, and I'm gonna bought it. I'm gonna take this, uh, I'm gonna take it out, slowly take it out, slowly bump my clipper down, going down on the fade, open halfway and close. Now I'm gonna blend the beard in, it's gonna be the same thing. I'm gonna go open halfway and close, and I'm just gonna go up on the fade. Every time I close the clipper, I move up. Instead of moving down like I do on the fade, when I'm fading the beard in, I move up on the beard. So now I got the number one guard on, and it's the same thing, same process. I'm gonna go up about three quarters of an inch, making sure that I'll put it in a, a kind of a more round shape and then making sure that I'll brush fade one brush one so then this is gonna be the same process as I flick out and put my guy in there then I'm gonna come in lay my blade flat and I'm gonna go open halfway and close and make sure that you stretch the skin like that just to make sure that everything is the length that you want to be This is just being efficient. This is how you become more efficient. You're already here. You already got the guard on. You can do the steps while you're there. Might as well just knock it out so you don't have to come back and do the beard last and redo all the guards and all that. So here's the number. Uh, this is a zero guard. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use more lever play and corner work with the zero guard and just take this line off. to stress the skin like that this is so you can see a little better if you have to and then once again hit the beard tap it in a little more blend get it blended perfect so now i'm coming in just my, the corner of my blade see how i'm just using the quarter of my blade this is what we say in detail work we use the corner of our blade that is detail work that's what's going to separate you as a barber from an average barber now i got the number two guard on once again i think on the beginning of the video it had to been a number three guard so now i got a number two guard and it looks like the blade was open now it's closed it's definitely closed now and i'm just going up preparing myself to come in getting this prep for me to come in with the one and a half and blend this out completely so now this is one and a half and i'm blending it out completely and i'm just gonna open halfway and close and open right up on the right left off of that too then bump down a little more go halfway and then close it all the way and tap the bottom of the line see that was me checking my mirror barbers the mirror is your friend definitely check your mirrors the mirror gonna allow you to see a lot of um details so now i'm just gonna go down with this one and a half especially down around this ear area and i'm gonna come in i'm gonna clean up a little more with my one guard well just using corner work open halfway and close just playing around and getting it smooth no brainer entertainment no meat just out once again when you go down like this on on curly hair thick hair curly hair with a curly hair powder it really just kind of makes it lay smoother just like I don't even know how to explain it kind of makes it lay smoother and allows it to blend easier so now I'm just coming back in with my zero guard just doing a little more detail work same with this you can see that that's the one starting to bust I just kind of lay a platform at first. I'm gonna come back to it later. If, if I don't show it in the video, I probably definitely did in real life. Um, but I like to come back after I, I do my foundation first, and then I uh, come.
come back and do this work after I do the lineup. Because the lineup, when, after you line it up crispy, it always allows you to see a little more of what you didn't see before. So let's break into the back. I'm doing the same thing, but I'm going up about a full inch in the back. I'm going to go up like a full inch. I'm setting this guideline in. Notice how I was flicking out at first. And now, I'm going to go open halfway and close. I was flicking out. Now my blade is flat, and then I'm going to go open halfway and close. This video is almost probably a year old. It's January 2021. I probably made this around like February 2020. So this is one of my this is one of my favorite videos I made so far. This this bag blurt this bag blend out something crazy. about a full inch in the back once again with the number one flicking out then lay my blade flat and then I'm gonna go open halfway and close just pay attention to where my really pay attention to where I am on the part of the fade that I'm fading so on the guideline that I'm fading pay attention to where I'm at on the guideline and where my lever is at on the clipper so where I'm at on the guideline where my lever is at on the clipper that's gonna explain a lot to you Usually with the zero guard, I just use the corner most of the time, but his hair is a little thicker, so it's like I can take it and lay it flat. So I'm probably just gonna do open half and close just a little bit, just at the bottom of the line, though, just at the bottom of this line, just to just to. I want to blend it in, but I also want to keep it dark too, just to keep it like dark as possible, so the contrast is there. No brainer entertainment. No me just out. Right there, a little key tip, barbers. The client might be uncomfortable for a couple minutes. Don't, if, if you cut how every person holds their head, you're gonna be uncomfortable for life because you're gonna mess yourself up. Make sure that you have the right posture and that you're putting your clients in the right position to make it easier for you to cut because one, it's gonna be easy for you to cut, it's gonna save you in the long run, it's gonna have you correct for life, and um, it's gonna allow you to give the client the best cut as possible. So if you have to explain that to them, like I've had to explain that to clients before, like, hey bro, I need you to sit, do do what I say when I have your head moving on an area. Cause it's one, it's gonna allow me to get you as fresh as possible. And two, it might be uncomfortable for you for a couple minutes, but if I do, but if I had the wrong posture, it could mess me up for life and I'm not having that. So please just work with me, man. And they, they'll work with you, I promise they'll work with you. So I just had a number two guard on, and I just went up into the curls, kind of flicking out. I said the curls, but you know what I mean, the way it kind of flicked out though. And then I closed it, and now I'm just coming in right up under where the close, two close was, and blended that in with my one and a half. And I'm gonna go down a little bit just to, you know, get the transition, and blend it in, get it, get it faded in and as smooth as possible. Sure. 
clippers I've been using today are Babyless Flash FX, Babyless Skeletons, Babyless FX Clipper, and then the Babyless no um, Shaver. No so I'm just doing the same thing on this side. Just hopefully you remember the steps on the other side. I might not talk too much through this side explain. I might just say some some stuff I feel like I'm hard to say. If God put some hard to say, it, I'm gonna say. But remember, blade open, flick out, three quarters of an inch, flick out, then lay your blade flat, then open halfway and close. Then a number one guard, three quarters of an inch, flick out, lay your blade flat, then open halfway and close. Then zero guard, kind of corner work and detail work, corner work, no. You can open halfway and close that too, but detail work, corner work. Then number two guard open. Open halfway and close, just going up to the top. Or number three guard, then a number two guard, then a number one and a half guard. Open halfway and close, blending down into that number one open. And then your face gonna be busting. Man, I just want to take a minute to say thank you, God, for blessing me so greatly. Because I, man, with my clothes, y'all keep watching this. Because if y'all are a fan of Always Advanced Clothing, if y'all are a fan of me, if y'all rock with me, if y'all are a fan of Always Advanced Clothing, you like, and you rock with and support Always Advanced Clothing, watch to the end of this video. Because I, God blessed me with something today that I've been trying to get for since I started Always Advanced Clothing. Really, even before that. Before I even had a name for Always Advanced Clothing, I had an idea of the certain materials, the certain things that I wanted, and God blessed me with this today. He blessed me with something so great today that I got it on right now, at least the bottoms of it, and I feel super good. Like, I feel so good in it, so comfortable, and I can't wait to post a picture. I'm probably going to post a picture tomorrow, so just stay tuned for that, man. Just stay tuned for that, and thank you, God. Thank you for blessing me, blessing my life so greatly. So right here, let's tap into this, you know, this lineup. So we're gonna keep it as natural as possible. So see how I'm just tapping it in. I'm not digging in, I'm just tapping at the at the line. Most people would have started it way more inside, but I try to keep it out and natural as possible. Even around the ears. You don't want to push nobody's line up around the ears back. So make sure that you're even keeping the line around the ears. Not only the line up in the front, but also keep the line up around the ears as natural as possible. Especially when you're doing the tapers, it's gonna make the taper stand out way more. It's gonna last way longer for the client. And it just has an all around better look. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna lay my blade flat until I get up to the top of the ear. Then I, that's when I'm gonna turn my clipper, use the corner of my, the edge of my blade, the corner of my blade, and finish going around the ear. And I go over it multiple times just to make sure every hair is in, in the position that I want to be and laying the way I want it to lay. And I want to ensure no matter which way he brushes his hair, no his line up is crisp. Even the, even the neckline. And that's just doing a little detail work right there. So this is going to be the same thing on this side. Exact same thing on this side. Y'all see that tape of bust? I'm telling you, this cut come out super clean. I'm telling you. Thank you guys out, man. I'm so blessed. Thank you guys that I just know how to do stuff like this. Like just make a video and create content. Thank you guys, I know how to do that. Thank you for thank you guys for calling me, man. I'm a, I'm gonna make the most of my platform. I'm gonna I'm fulfill my potential in the market industry. That's really my goal this year. So right here, I'm just going and setting it in. He kind of got a had a real light up under there. He didn't have a lot of hair up under there. It was real light, choppy looking. So I took it literally right up to his jawline. Yeah, we're just going to tap in that mustache. I'm so grateful, man, that I get to make videos again. Like, I'm this content going to just keep getting better, I promise y'all. Whoever rock with me, keep rocking with me because, one, I'm going to take over, I'm going to take over St. Louis this year. And, two, I'm just going to make my name known in this industry. In the bar, I'm really going to make my name known in the bar industry. For real, I'm really gonna make my name known in this barber industry. I feel like it's already known in certain areas, but I'm trying to be known though. Like, I'm 
trying to maximize my, my potential in the barber industry. This is something that God blessed me with. This is something that I love. This is like my, you know, this is my passion. So I love it. And why not be known for it? I'm going to be known for it because of God. So thank you, God, for blessing me. And if y'all stay with me through this video, keep watching because I got a surprise for you at the end of this. But thank you if you made it through this tutorial with me. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something. And if it satisfied you and if the cut is busted, just leave me a comment. I don't care if it's a fire emoji. I don't care if it's a bro you laced them. I don't care what it is. Leave me a fire emoji. Like, comment, and subscribe. And continue watching to see the surprise that I got for you. And for all these events, closing phases at the end. up to the place that's making my clothes so I'm gonna go inside y'all seeing what I'm seeing so the fans are